Hey guys, and welcome to a hopefully exciting video. Now, if you want to get into video editing, whether that is for YouTube, for your family, for university, or for Hollywood, there's tons of different software tools that you can use. Adobe Premiere Pro is just one of many non-linear editing systems that you can use. There's a bunch of free options as well, like DaVinci Resolve or HitFilm. Now, I create online tutorials as well as training courses for Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. And I've actually just finished a brand new course for learning Adobe Premiere Pro. It's called Learn Video Editing with Premiere Pro in two hours. It's meant for absolute beginners to give you all of the fundamentals that you need to start video editing using Adobe Premiere Pro. It shows you how to work with media, apply transitions and effects, work with audio, and then export your project into a final video file that you can share with friends, family, or get it you know, criticized by random strangers on the internet. The course is available on my website, as well as on Skillshare and on Udemy. Go and check out the free lessons to see if it tickles your fancy. Also, to celebrate the launch of my new course, I'm going to give away 50 free copies. And I'm also going to offer some ongoing specials to all of you, just to say thank you for all of your support. Links and coupons and everything you're going to find down in the video description. But no matter which way you prefer to learn, whether you prefer structured training courses, online tutorials, or you like reading things or just trying things out, in this video, I want to give you five quick tips for learning Adobe Premiere Pro. Tip number one is start at the beginning. Now, this might feel obvious, but when you're browsing random tutorials on the internet, sometimes it's not obvious which level or which difficulty certain tutorials are at. I personally like to indicate my difficulty level, but if you're just watching a random tutorial online, make sure that the tutorial you're watching is at an appropriate level. You want it to be something new that you haven't learned before, but something that's not so difficult that you're just gonna get lost and give up. I know that lots of people like to skip ahead and kind of skip all the boring fundamentals, but you're essentially trying to learn to make the icing before you know how to make the cake. You need to understand the fundamentals of how Premiere Pro works, how it works with files, how the basic editing tools work, how transitions and effects work, and how it all comes together. Because then, once you have all of those fundamentals, you can much more easily progress into some of the advanced stuff that, you know, is the actual fun stuff, the exciting things that really make your video come alive. Tip number two is focus on learning techniques and concepts rather than sequences of button presses. This is something I've noticed with a lot of my online tutorials is that the moment the interface changes, like a new version of Premiere Pro comes out, everybody gets stuck because that button isn't there anymore. But how do I now progress? How do I now export my video? That button isn't there anymore. Try to memorize what you're doing and why. Don't necessarily focus on which button on the keyboard did something or which button on the interface did something because if that button changes or moves, the shortcut keys change, the interface changes because they've released a new version, you may get stuck because you didn't actually understand why you were doing the things you were doing. You were just kind of following a pattern. Now, don't get me wrong, when you're first starting out, just following a pattern is actually very useful because it's easy to follow along, but make sure you understand why. I personally always like to explain why I'm doing something in my tutorials, which is also why some of them end up being horrendously long, but I think there's value in understanding why you're doing what you're doing because it can get you past a lot of the hurdles that you might encounter further down the line when you're not in the exact same situation but you kind of need to do something similar. Tip number three is to experiment a lot. Now once you've followed a tutorial and you kind of understand what's going on, try to change things, try to do something different, try to break away from the thing you've just learned. If you're just memorizing the things you've seen, even if you understand why you're doing what you're doing, it's kind of like reading a book on wild animals without ever stepping a foot outside the house. Yeah. Yes, you may have the theoretical knowledge, but you don't necessarily know how to apply all of this out in the wild where the circumstances might not always be the exact same situation that you were in when you were following that tutorial. So experiment. Once you've watched a tutorial or a training lesson from a course, try to do it differently. Like follow that concept without watching the video and try to do it your way and just tweak things around, change the text, the footage, use different effects or try to achieve some things that you haven't seen happen before because it's the problem solving, the applying of the concepts to a new problem that will actually add the greatest learning to your experience. Tip number four is to learn those shortcut keys. Try to get used to as many shortcut keys in Adobe Premiere Pro as you can and use them regularly. They can really, really speed up your workflow, but also by getting used to the shortcut keys, you're more trying to memorize what things do from a logical point of view rather than memorizing the button presses that you've seen in a tutorial. It makes you map logical functions within Premiere Pro to keys so that you can recall them really, really quickly. Now you can easily go into the preferences and totally customize your key map for Adobe Premiere Pro 
Personally, I don't like doing that because I actually teach Adobe Premiere Pro and a lot of people follow my tutorials and my training courses. If my shortcut keys don't match what you have by default out of the box for Adobe Premiere Pro, you might find it difficult to follow along. If you follow other people's tutorial, most of them use the default keyboard shortcuts. Also, if you're reading something on the Adobe forums, they will probably tell you which keyboard shortcuts to use by default. If you customize everything, it, it gets a bit harder because you get misaligned with what most people would have. So I would recommend try to get used to the standard keyboard shortcut keys and integrate them as much as you can into your workflow to learn the function, the logical concepts behind what you're doing, but also then just to help you get faster at video editing. Shortcut keys are amazing. If you're not using them yet, you're really kind of missing out on 10 helpers that could make your video editing faster. Tip number five is to practice, practice, practice. Yes, it's a boring saying that you take about 10,000 hours to become a master at something. Now, it won't take you quite that long to become a master or good at Adobe Premiere Pro. Hopefully, it'll take you around about two hours to learn the basics. Once you've watched tutorials, training courses, you've read things online, and you feel like, oh, I'm quite comfortable with it, start practicing, use your own materials, download stuff from the internet, put together your own video projects, plan them out and just edit them, upload them, get feedback, give them to friends, family, get feedback. Practice is the only thing that will guarantee that everything you've learned will actually get retained in your brain because your brain will think, well, this is important to remember. If you don't use it, your brain will go, well, I don't need this and go and check it out. Put everything you learn to practice and as you're practicing, do experiment, deviate from what you know, because it's the problem solving, the application of your knowledge out in the wild, out where the wild animals are, that will actually make you a good survivor. It's not reading the book and just memorizing it, it's applying it, practicing it, exercising it. And that is how you can become a master at Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you found that useful. Obviously, keep in mind that everyone learns differently, so some things might work for one person and not necessarily the others. Now, if you like free online tutorials, I've got tons of Premiere Pro tutorials on my YouTube channel. If you prefer some more structured and focused training, go and check out my new course, Learn Video Editing with Premiere Pro in two hours. Again, link's going to be down in the video description, so go and check that out if you're interested. And for that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to watch more, just click these links over on the right hand side. If you want to support me, what I do on this channel, be sure to check out all of the links down in the video description. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.